Hi guys, so in this tutorial we're just going to be covering, uh, this is the second 3ds Max tutorial, probably going to be the last one, just because I just want to show you guys some edit poly, and once you know this, and you know how to create objects, and how to subdivide them, that's really all you're going to need to know for 2D games that incorporate some 3D elements. Again, most of the time you're just going to be using blocks, or some sort of, um, you know, modified version of a block, which I'll teach you how to create now. So you would go to your modifier list, you would scroll down to edit poly, you'd click that. Okay, so now here's your edit poly, and here's also you have all your different types of selection. Um, what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to show you guys really quick how to change this from a block, okay, into a rounded object. For that, we're going to use polygon. I'm going to go down here to soft selection. We're going to hit that little plus sign. Use soft selection. Now I'm just going to click here, and if you notice, if I increase the fall off, that it, it spreads out to, to where we're going to do to uh, where we're going to extend this. Now we have W, which is move, E, which is rotate, or R, which is scale. And what I'm going to use is the move tool, and I'm just going to pull that up there. So see, I was already able to take a block and make it rounded just by soft selection. Now, of course, this isn't some sort of, you know, beautiful aesthetic thing to look at. I'm just showing you guys the tools that you could use. It's up to you to be creative and to actually work these into something. But um, next, I'll just undo that. Because what I really want to show you guys next is if we turn off soft selection, okay, and we go down here to, to modify by vertex, I want to go to the front, and I want to select these vertices right here, and I want to push this down. And it's really important with your mesh guys to keep a clean mesh, which means nothing inside out, no black faces, uh, you know, meaning meaning that the mesh would turn black in certain areas, or also you don't want your vertices to, you know, be, be crimped up there, and, you know, you know, really tight. So what we're going to do here, just going to do this. I'm going to extend these vertices here. See, and it's important that when I do this, notice that I'm going into a different view. If I was in perspective view and I just selected some of these vertices, well, my, my object would be off balance because it would be selecting, you know, different faces and different, uh, you know, see that? See how messed up my mesh is getting? What I'm doing here is I'm jumping into a side view. I'm selecting the portion of vertices that I want to, to change, and then I'm just morphing them like that. This way there's no inadvertent selections on my part, okay, and we have a we have a vertice that's out of place right here. So in this specific case, what we do, we would click, and you can see where this fell out of place from, right here, and we'll put that back. You guys, remember, uh, a lot of you are going to be making 2D games, especially if you're in NJIT's uh, first game or second game design class. So what what we're really going to be doing here, I just really want to show you guys the gist of this. That's how you mess around with vertices. You want to mess around with edges? Sure. You click one of these edges and you pull it up. Okay, now you could already see we could make this into like a little battleship type thingy. Uh, we have, this is border. I don't really work with borders. I really work with polygons, vertices, edges, but mainly polygons and vertices. I find those are the, the two, my two favorites. Where I just pull this stuff out here. Pull this right out here. So this started out as a block, and we're already working this. This could actually be a humanoid form, sort of. You know, and if, if you really want to make it to a humanoid form, I could actually show you guys really quick. Real quick thing, you hold down control, you click these boxes right here. Oops, didn't mean, didn't mean to make that the final selection. Pull this down. And now you're starting, you know, now you're starting to you work out some legs. Also, right-click extrude. If you right-click and you go to extrude, what you could do then is you hold, click and hold, and you could extrude up or down, and this just makes certain extrusions. This is great for character modeling if you want to leave some room for, um, you know, uh, rigging and animation. Right now, of course, this isn't a true humanoid form. This isn't a clean mesh by any means, but I'm just showing you guys we take we took a box, and this is what we did with it. Now, if you select the whole thing, you would click this. Uh, useful for some things, but what I really want to stay on his face right now, and I just want to hold down this. And now, if we want to subtract from our current selection... Right? Um, I'm sorry, if we want to add to our current selection, we would just hold control. And pull this out right here. So as you can see, we took a box and we morphed it, and that's all on Edit Poly. Now the last thing I want to show you guys, when you're done editing that object, jump back into Create Mode, and now you can create more objects. Just don't stay in Edit Poly Mode, or you may get confused as to why things aren't working, except for selecting your object. And that's about all the time we have for today, guys, but thanks for watching, and I hope you watch the next couple tutorials. Thanks.